Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and how it handles centering your print on the physical page. Sounds like a simple task, but it can be daunting at times. Let me call your attention to this area up here top right. We're using the Canon Pro 9000 and even though we're using 8.5 by 11 paper, it's reporting to us that it'll only let us print on 8 inches of the 8.5 and, and 10.68 of the 11. Okay, we understand that. It needs a little bit of paper to grab onto to pull it through the machine. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go way over here to the left to this very handsome gentleman. Click on the plus sign to get him into the queue. And we're going to... We see now it's 8 by 10. We're going to enlarge it so it's fit to page, as big as we can make it. So I select the image, I hold the right mouse for a moment, click fit to page, and now we've filled the page. So far so good. You'll notice the print size is now 8 by 10.69. That's the biggest we can make on this sheet of paper with this printer. Okay, let's see how it's centered. So we'll click on the edit page button over here, and we go in here, and we see if we look up in the right hand area, there are two tabs. One is cropping and one is size location. We want the size location. And we go here to the location area and it's telling us we have a 0.25 margin on the left, a 0.25 margin on the right. Uh oh, we have 0.12 on the top and 0.20 on the bottom. That's not centered. So we'll click the center button. We click the center button and this one puts up a sign that says sorry the Canon wants this amount of paper for itself and you can't have it. Bye! Uh oh. Let's see what QImage can do to help us out. I click done and then I go up here to the top left where it says edit preferences I go to print and page formatting and all the way to the right it says page margins Okay, here's an interesting box. I'm going to click on a button here which simplifies everything. It says center on the physical page. Click. Now we get a warning box which is essentially is just saying to you, look, if you want me to center this on the printable area, I'm going to have to steal a little bit of it. Okay, in order to even this out, so I got to make your picture just a skinch smaller because your printable area is going to be a little smaller. And you say yes and OK. And now, since we made the printable area a skinch smaller, the print we had before was a little too large, so QImage is telling us that. So we select it, hold down the right mouse for a second, fit to page again. OK, we, fitted it, we fit the new image to the new um, uh, printable area. OK, now let's go back into that edit page and see how we fixed it. OK, let's see, we got 0.25 left, 0.25 right, 0.20 top, 0.20 bottom. It is centered. It is centered. But supposing you really want that quarter inch all the way around, okay? Not just left and right and a 0.2 top and a 0.2 bottom. You'd really like to have it all the same. Okay, let's have a go. We click the Done button. And we go back up again into the Edit, References print and page formatting and back into the page margins. Okay, that's the box we were in before. Now, since these are 25s on the left and right and the bottom is 20 and the top is 20, give or take a couple of billions, all we have to do here to make it 25 is add another 0.05. So I do that manually like that and you can see the total here and says 0.25 now. Let's do the same thing at the top. We already have an 8 added and we're trying to go to a 25 so what do we have to add? Well, let's try a 12. Okay. And we have 23 something or other. Let's try a 13. Okay, we got 24, 6, so that should work out fine. Let's say OK. All right, 
again we've got the same situation the previous size print is just a little too big for the amount of printable paper that we're being offered so again we just select it hold the right mouse for a second say fit to page again okay let's go back into the page editor and see how we did look at that 25 point 25 point 25 point 25 we are now evenly spaced with the same margin around all four sides and we're ready to go and I'll point this out to you here you can see the space that was stolen you won't see it in the print but this is the amount of room that was stolen from the print size in order to even out all the margins okay I click done I thank you very much for your attention and we'll see you next time.